Hey guys, it's Eric from Pin Pioneer, and in this video I'm going to talk to you about a way to find and leverage currently popular trending pins and boards on Pinterest, and a way to automate them back to your Pinterest account and to any other social platforms you have interlinked. So to get started, I'm going to talk to you about a website called Repinly. Now this is a pretty cool website and it talks about stuff like statistics, Pinterest followers, pins, popular boards, etc. Now this is all well and good to look at and then try to get some more information from, but we can in fact use this data to reuse it essentially on our own accounts. How we do this? So go to repinly.com and go to popular boards. Find a niche. In this case, let's say your niche is animals. This will show you all the popular boards in that niche. Okay. Now what you can do, you can click on one of these boards. Let's say pigs is the niche you want to get into. Now this will give you a ranking. It will say you know this this many followers. It's really cool. Only nine pins they have. So what you can do, you right click on here, copy link address. Now I'll show you a way to automate this whole link grabbing in a bit as well. But in this case, right click copy link address, go back to Pin Pioneer, right click import URLs titles, um, put the URL in a text file. In this case, it's here, for instance. Save, excellent, open. So that's import the URL. Go to boards, right click on this, and sorry, check it first, right click, boards, and scrape pins. This will scrape back the most all the pins from that board. In this case, there's 11 pins, and we know by this stage that they're all popular because there's you know, this many followers for that one board. So if we right click and we go open URL, this will give you a better insight as to the pins, the pin. So you can see they're very like, they're very followed, they're very repinned. Now what you can do, you can still um, apply the same typical rules through Pin Pioneer. So you can repin all of them to your own board in the niche. You can um, you know, comment them, like them, repin them, that kind of stuff to get people to take notice of your account. If you're on high quality content, this is the best way to find it. Now that's, that, that's one kind of avenue to pursue. Obviously you can do this with more URLs. So in this case, I only scrape one board back. I could get the URLs for all these boards. Um, and then get all their followers, get all their pins, repin them, like them, comment them back to my account in order to build reputation, in order to build traffic back to my account. A quick way of grabbing all the links is to use a Chrome plugin I like um, called Link Grabber, which essentially just sits at the top of your toolbar, like so. You hit this, and it'll bring back all the links on the page. Then you can just you know, copy them back into an account, into a text file. Now, the, the actual plugin is called I believe Chrome Link Grabber. Could be wrong but I'm quite sure I'm right. So it's this one. Pretty similar. There are others but this is the one I use. Go to this website, go to this URL or search it up in Google, hit add to Chrome and it will add it to your browser. There are similar things for all the other major browsers so uh, Firefox, Opera, etc. But this is the one I use. Anyway, now the next thing is a bit more, a bit, takes a bit more time but it's just as easy. Um, using ift. Now, I've talked about this in a previous video, and the purpose of this service is to interlink all your social platforms. So you can create what they call a recipe, which essentially just says, if this, then do that. So if I receive a picture comment on Facebook, then send out a tweet saying this. Very, very cool, very accurate. So for this, let's say you have a WordPress blog or other social platforms, Tumblr or you know, uh, Facebook, Twitter, whatever it might be. What you can do, you can go to Repinly, Popular Pins, or Popular Boards, which, whichever you want, and see this little RSS button here. Hit this, and choose a feed. In this case, let's say your niche is film, music, and books. This URL, this RSS feed, will return all the new popular pins in that niche. So all you want to do, take this URL, like so, copy it, Go to ift over here and create create a recipe. If this, choose the feed item right here. New feed item. Point it to this URL. Essentially, what this will do every time ift realizes that there's a new there's new content on this URL, so new popular pins, it will automatically then repin it or post it 
to a service of your choice. It can be multiple, it can be several, it can be none. But that's the basic principle. Hit create trigger. It's going to create this. So now it's saying if this has new content, then do something else. If that. Here you can choose a range of different things. So you can say if there's new popular content on this, let's say we pin it back to Tumblr. Oh, well, I don't have a Tumblr account activated here, but let's go leave this page. Let's go back to create recipe. If this feed new trigger feed URL create trigger, then let's say Facebook create a status message or create a link post, whatever it might be. We can set up our own actions. Check this out, guys. For instance, so in this case, every time there is a new popular pin content, it will automatically post it to my Facebook account. I can extend this. I can choose more details here to include in my message if I would like. Simple popular pin. Okay. We can set the same thing for a bunch of other accounts. So we can say if this, if there's a new pin here, post it to Twitter, post it to Tumblr, post it to LinkedIn, post it to Delicious, post it to um, Dig, Reddit, whatever. You know, there's a hundred different services available and they're all very, very cool. This just expands your social reach and make sure the content you're giving your users is always high quality content that they will engage with because they're already popular, they're already getting lots of pins, lots of likes, lots of comments. They're trending items on Pinterest. So that's essentially the strategy. It's very easy and it's a very cool way of extending your social reach and expanding your social media marketing. So that's all for now. Uh, take a look at our next video. Thank you.